Hey YouTube, Pipe Lawyer here, coming to you once again from the Manctuary. Um, tonight's video is going to be a tobacco review. And if you saw my previous video, uh, toward the end of it you saw me do a pan around and a still shot of the tin of the tobacco, which I'll be discussing this evening. And uh, just by way of short introduction, it is a pipe tobacco that is quite simply legendary uh, within the world of pipe smoking, uh, at least in modern history. It is from a manufacturer of pipe tobacco that's been out of the U.S. now for the last few years, but has since returned as of last week. And it's in the stores now, and as soon as I found out, I got me some. And the tobacco to which I'm referring, of, of course, is none other than the legendary Dunhill Nightcap. Yes, it's finally here. I finally got a tin of it in my hands. And let me tell you right off the bat, Nightcap is a full-bodied English blend, and it is simply fantastic. Uh, it is uh, definitely a full English that I will be keeping in my rotation uh, insofar as I can. If it's available, and hopefully it'll stay around this time for good. Now, when I was thinking about how I would discuss Nightcap, you know, I, I thought, you know, how can I do justice to a a pipe blend that is a hero among the English blends? It seems like, you know, as a new, new pipe smoker of a year and a half, it seems like all other English blends that claim to be a full English are compared inevitably to nightcap in terms of aroma, strength, room note, and, and what have you. It seems that nightcap is the standard by which all the others are measured and engaged. So that being said, I, I would like to discuss nightcap in terms of two of my other fa favorite English blends that I smoke on a regular basis. The first one being Boswell's Northwoods. Uh, I've read on, on tobacco reviews that Northwoods is to Boswell what Nightcap is to Dunhill. So this is one blend that is favorably compared to Nightcap. And the other is Artisan's Blend by Ashton. And first off, let me say that Nightcap keeps a light very, very well. I lit Nightcap the first time I tried it a few nights ago, and I mean, from the top of the bowl to, to the end, it burned evenly, cleanly, on one light. That impressed me. That being said, I thought, well, rather than just smoke it one time in one pipe, let me just, you know, smoke it a few times in a row in four different pipes on four different nights. So I did that and the first pipe that I smoked it in is the Boswell Baby Jumbo with a deep egg-shaped bowl. Then I tried it in a smaller pipe and I'll explain why in just a second. A standard sized billiard also by Boswell. Then the third sampling was when I smoked Nightcap in my Estate Yobi with the Dutch oven shaped bowl. And then just a short while ago I finished up a bowl in this full bent squat apple by Boswell. And first impressions. Uh, in comparison to say first off Northwoods. Northwoods is a full English but Northwoods has a rounded flavor about it, and by that I mean it's a non-confrontational. And by that, what I'm really trying to say is that it will only tend to overwhelm you if you smoke it too fast or smoke too much of it uh, in, in a sitting. It is a very friendly, 
warm, creamy, and inviting uh, type of smoke. Very soothing. Uh, the flavors are rounded. They're nicely melded. And you get a nice smoky sensation about it. And something that, you know, you just sit back and you just take in and it relaxes you. With Artisan's Blend, you have basically the same type of smoke, but the perique in it gives it a spicy kick that makes itself known throughout the bowl. Both Artisan's Blend and Northwoods are both creamy smokes, but the perique in Artisan's Blend gives it that, that peppery, slight hot sauce type of zing to it but still very very nice very appealing very alluring um, when I say that Northwoods is rounded I'm saying that it's a complex blend but not quite as complex as as Artisan's blend which you know, I, I guess because of the spiciness would tend to be a little bit more exotic a little bit more uh, complex based. Now you take Nightcap and this takes the components of both Artisan's Blend and Northwoods and sharpens them. And by sharpen I mean that it makes it very very complex. This is a very distinguished and refined uh, pipe blend. It is a very uh, I guess it's like an aficionado or a connoisseur's blend. Not that, you know, Northwoods and Arsenal's blend can't be that way also, but really, I mean, this, I mean, Nightcap is just very, very, very sharp. Um, and the thing about Nightcap also, and getting back to why I smoked in different sized pipes, is that Nightcap is by far the highest nicotine content pipe blend I have smoked. Now I'm sure that there are you know other blends out there that are higher. I've not yet tried them as far as I know, but I went from smoking nightcap in this sized bowl pipe to this sized bowl pipe. And you can tell the difference. It is a rich and alluring blend. It's very complex and the Paris content here I think is higher but it's not overwhelming. It comes on the aftertaste. It leaves itself on the back of your throat as you exhale. And the thing about this in, in Nightcap is that Nightcap has a dark earthy rich dark chocolate note about it in taste. But just when you think it's going to get sour the Virginia's in it make it creamy once again. And it's a creaminess that makes itself known and then drops, you know, back into to the background and then comes right back out again. Which I thought was interesting. But it's a very well constructed blend. Um, it's a high nicotine blend. So I have a few bits of advice for you out there in uh, pipe smoking land on YouTube. Uh, number one, if you've never smoked an English blend before and are thinking about taking the plunge into the, into the world of English, do not make this your first English blend. Build up to it. Start off with Boswell's Mild English or one of the other milder ones, you know, like Black Point from GLPs or something. Um, which is also, you know, a full English, but not quite as complex as this. Um, you know, just any one of, of those, because nightcap, because of the high nicotine content, if you're not careful, will knock you on your tail. And because of that, number two, only smoke nightcap, regardless of how experienced a pipe smoker you are, new or old, smoke nightcap only on a full stomach. Eat a full meal before you light this up, because it will uh, it will knock you over. I'm serious. Um, it's good. 
uh, but a little dab will do you. <laughs> that being said also, um, you know, just smoke it in a smaller bowl to pipe at first. Uh, something along the lines of, you know, this, a standard size bowl. Uh, it's not that night camp can't be enjoyed or, or experienced to the full in a larger bowl pipe. Um, I'm, I'm just not there yet. I mean, I'm, I'm not at, at the point where I can take a Mario Grande, you know, jumbo pipe or a bottle of jumbo and, and fill it to, into the room with nightcap and say, okay, I'm off. Uh, I think that would be a bit much for most pipe smokers. So I think if you were to opt to enjoy this in a smaller bold pipe, a more standard sized pipe like, like this, you know, I, I think your, your pipe smoking experience and in particular your experience with NICAP would be a, a lot more uh, gratifying. And uh, that being said, uh, I think I have a new favorite among my English blends along with Northwoods and Artisans blend, and that is Dunhill's NICAP. I highly recommend it, but please do take the advice that, that I've given. Uh, smoke this with respect it has earned because it has earned it. So, until next time, this is Pipe Lawyer saying cheers. And as always, remember, I'll present the evidence, but you be the judge. Take care, God bless, and good night.